The Mendip Hills in Somerset, an area of outstanding natural beauty, is under threat from gas companies planning to exploit the gas deposits below. The process they will use, hydraulic fracturing or fracking, has transformed the landscape in many parts of the United States and Australia and contaminated the drinking water and air with highly toxic chemicals and carcinogenic and radioactive gases. Despite the risks, the coalition government claims shale gas can make the UK self-sufficient in energy and help boost the economy. Shale gas is part of the future and we will make it happen. And Lord John Brown, both unelected cabinet member and chairman of Quadrilla, the company that stands to profit most from the dash for gas, has stated he'll invest whatever it takes. Lord Brown has appointed non-executive directors to the board of each government department. There are four Brown appointees at the Treasury, the government's most powerful department. Three more are found at the Department of Energy and Climate Change, which grants oil and gas licenses and oversees the industry. At DEFRA, which oversees the Environment Agency, Brown has overseen the appointment of four non-executives. In fact, hundreds of government officials owe their position to Lord Brown. One of them, non-executive Treasury member Baroness Hogg, is the independent director of BG Group, who are responsible for major environmental malpractice in Australia. <laughs> 